Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's me Agri C and I need to say thank you all for the new support that you have given me throughout that new IO video and welcome all of the new subscribers to my channel. Thank you and of course thank you Creepers for doing all of this for me. I wouldn't have gotten this far if you didn't help me through with this. Thanks man and all the best. And I'll help you through rank, don't worry about that. Anyways. Um, today I want to I'm here to showcase a new barrack build that my team captain like the team I swim with Dark Dweller shout out to my clan amazing people all of them Like he made a new build with the rocket boots barrack instead of the health card and I have to say this build has got to be One of the best barrack builds I have seen ever of course you're going to be using tinkering with this build and Honestly the tinkering playstyle doesn't change but the, the playstyle just gets augmented from just being a point tank to also being an aggressive tank. You can be a point tank of course, but you can also be very aggressive with this build and actually jump around corners, take more fights than you usually could and also run away from fights whenever you need to. Like a lot more easily in comparison to ever before. This build optimizes the fact around that rocket boots are so fast that you can turn corners, get behind cover, and finally get the heal healing from your healers very easily in comparison to before. Where when you use rocket boots, you're mostly a sitting duck, very slow, and you could easily get hit if you don't juke around. But if you juke around, that's basically meaning that you're wasting your rocket boots and you're just still standing at one position. With this build, positioning is key because you need to position yourself in such a way that Whenever you use your rocket boots, you can actually get behind the wall instantly to take cover so that your healer can heal you or you can get out of combat so your turrets can heal you as you can see in the cards later. So this build will be structured as you can see the gameplay in the background. This is going to be playing out after I talk about the build and my thought process of why I'm picking these certain cards. And after that I'll let this gameplay play out and then I'll show some clips and explain my thought process of what is happening and how to use this build. If you want to stick through just for the gameplay, then watch the gameplay. And after, you can watch my thought process on how I did this and what I'm doing. So anyways, thank, anyways, let's get into how I make this build. What do you do in that case? Like, I really don't know. Who disconnected? Okay. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that looked so fucking I'm stupid for that second. Yeah. <laughs> Minute. All right. So let's go over how, why, which cards that I use, and why I use them while I make this build life for you guys. So, first of all, bowling ball at a three, at a four, not a five. So, why do I choose bowling ball at four and not a five? Because I need the points for the other cards, other two cards that I'm going to add. And bowling ball at four just gives you that survivability. There's not really a lot of things that can burst you for 1,200 damage and take out the shield and you at the same time. Whenever you use your ability, and the 1200 just allows you to just get out, get behind the corner, heal up, and just poke back out, and probably your fail safe is already gonna be up pretty much always, half the time, whenever you're fighting, because you're gonna need to manage your cooldowns constantly whenever you play this build. So, bowling ball at 4 is like perfect for that situation, and also after the nerfs of it not lasting for 4 seconds, I don't really see the necessity of having this card at like five because it's gonna run out anyways and it's not gonna be beneficial at all because you're gonna that 1500 damage is not gonna last you that long anyways because you normally just use bowling ball to just get out of situations and more than anything else now the most staple card being failsafe at three always failsafe at three gives you your dashes back at a pretty decent chunk of health basically allowing you to get out get bowling ball again just get behind corners more easily now for healing station, healing station at a 4, mm, pretty much mandatory I would say, you can run this at a 3 but I like it at a 4 because 
allows me to not de be dependent on my healer a lot and I, the healer can heal someone else while I'm doing my job at another spot and I can place my turrets on corners when I use my uh, when I use my F ability to just get to them, heal up, do some poke and still get healed constantly. It's not that much but it adds up over time. Now for the two fun cards in this build. First of all, fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency, this is kind of controversial. A lot of people think that fuel efficiency is bad and you should use the other card that gives you health instead. The health card, a lot of people use that. But I say fuel efficiency is a lot better. When you pair it up with this card, which is double time, increasing the movement speed during rocket boots. So before in my channel, there is a video for the momentum mechanic that goes off ledges. You can actually use this to like fly across entire maps if you have the proper build for it. So I increase the duration and I also use double time. I can zoom across high ground to another spot instantly almost with the use of the momentum mechanic. Check out the other video if you want to see how the momentum mechanic works again. But fuel efficiency at 0 0.3 allows you to turn those corners. Like there's a lot of corners in the game that are pretty far and fuel efficiency allows you to maximize the potential of you turning that corner and not just coming short. You can always cancel your dashes. Like, like you can cancel your F ability anytime you want just like uh, attacking again. So why should you not have this card? You can juke around even more like in some of the clips, like in the clips coming forward you'll see that I use the fuel efficiency to juke around very quickly allowing my DPSs to get like two or three more shots on the enemy because they can't hit me then my DPSs can hit them allowing me to juke around or you'll see in a lot of situations where because of the 0 0.3 seconds I'm able to turn the corners even more and actually survive longer in comparison to ever before. And double time is just good because having higher higher dash duration you need the speed to actually juke the enemies because most of the time if you're like most of the time barracks thing is very slow so with this it allows you to close the gap very quickly you can actually go aggressively being a flank or you could go defensive and run around behind corners to defend yourself from the enemies whenever they are attacking you or whenever you're low or you can also use this to outrun Inara ult it's very much possible to get behind a corner before the Inara ult even occurs if you position yourself properly even a Khan grab it's dodgeable because of this there's a lot more ults, even Genos ult, like normally if ever if you ever use your F ability a bit too late, Genos will grab you, but if you use this card, you can actually force yourself out even at the last few seconds, if you react very slowly to it. So there's a lot of things that play together in this build, like fuel efficiency, with that, basically Inara can't even touch you because you're already behind the wall before the thing even hits you. So that's my thought process of this build and now I'm going to go to the next part of the video which is just some gameplay of me playing this build. Just so you can get some ideas of how I play it, when I play it and how I use it. Like aggressively and defensively. Yes, Barrick is a point tank. You're supposed to stay on point but you can also use this to be aggressive and defensive at the same time. Making this build a lot better than just the defensive playstyle. And I am a very aggressive kind of player, that's my name. No jokes in the comment section. Thank you. And so it really fits my playstyle a lot more in comparison to anything else. So let's get into the next part of the video and hope you enjoy the gameplay. Stick around till the end where I will just show my thought process of why I'm doing this and when I'm doing this in some of the clips that are going to be coming.
just don't feel the same. Oh, 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 oh. back my life inside a car. Hit the button, drive real far. Put that record on me, die. Oh, 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 oh. I'm dreaming of you. I dream of a new night. Ooh, fight in the dark to win. And with that, that covers the gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed it. And you can see that this new barrack loadout is based around hyper aggression and also the ability to reposition really quickly. And in some of the background clips, you'll be seeing of how I use this ability to actually run away from fights that some, I may have taken by mistake. And it helps cushion the fact that even if you make a mistake, you'll still have the chance of getting out of a fight and then repositioning in such a way that the enemy can't even kill you and you get your healing from your turrets and, and your healer. And you can also use this to reposition and go hyper-aggressive and flank enemies as well. Like you can see in the coming clip that I used that against the enemies very easily, getting a quick kill on the game, allowing me to just hold the high ground even more pushing them all back, dividing their attention, and allowing my team to push in the payload. You're, sometimes you need to switch roles with your aggro tank, but that's completely fine if you can actually pay off with your aggression and if you're comfortable doing it. And this build club helps you to augment that playstyle. And trust me when I say this, that 0.3 seconds is just sauce. Sri told me that, so quotation from Sri. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video. 
and I hope you try out this build. And of course, builds are very much of your own, old personal preference. So whatever you do, still try it out and let me know how you think in the comment section. Cheers everyone, thanks for watching the video, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Well... <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.